Hi, water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross-watching in today's reading, we're going to take a look and see what will unfold for you in the next 24 to 48 hours. Um, it is a general reading. If you are a personal one, feel free to reach out. My email address is going to be included just below the video where the show more section is. Otherwise, let's take a look and see what the next 48 hours holds for you. Okay, so you've come up as the Six of Cups, the only suit of cup tarot um, card in the spread here. Interestingly, it is placed alongside the Sun card here, which depicts a very joyous and happy child. To me, I get this strong energy, this strong um, indication that for a lot of you, it's like you're losing touch here, water signs, with your inner child. Um, You could also be losing touch with certain connections in your life, or maybe this is how you feel. Um, some of you might be holding on to the past in some way, okay? Holding on to certain memories of the past. Um, and these memories do feel like they're bringing up some negative emotions. They're bringing up some, some stress, some fear, some regret or remorse. Um, maybe some of you are not necessarily living in the present, okay? You keep going back to the way something once was or the way a relationship once was, the way, you know, your connection or your relationship with someone or just going back to your happy place, okay? A time when, when maybe you were happy, but now suddenly things have changed and you find yourself wishing for how things used to be. Or even this yearning or longing for things that are not just yet. You feel as though you want something a certain way, even though you might not necessarily know. And I know this sounds a little bit strange, but it's like this yearning or longing for... It's like even, I'm not even sure that you know what it is that you're yearning or longing for. Um, to me, the cards seem to indicate very strongly that, you know, the more you keep holding on to the past or at the very least you know this this way of thinking okay you thinking that a situation should be very different to how it how it is um or the more you find yourself you know in this phase of reflection and nostalgia whilst it's okay you know and it's good to reflect uh from time to time some of you have really been staying in the past okay you're holding on to maybe even illusions of what once was or what could have been um, and the more you're indulging in this kind of energy, guys, the more you're missing out on opportunities that are being presented in front of you, okay? Um, the thing is, true and lasting change can only ever happen in the moment. It cannot happen, um, you know, in the past, and it cannot, of course, happen in the future. It's, use this, honestly, use this opportunity, and it's uncomfortable for a lot of you, I know, because you're trying to, some of you are trying to resist change, okay, you've been put in a situation that feels very uncomfortable, you guys, okay, I'm not going to lie, this, the cards seem to indicate, you know, you're losing touch with your inner child, you're losing touch with, um, you know, the happiest, ver the happiest, maybe healthiest version of yourself, it's like you're clinging on to something, and use this you know, whatever it is that you're working through or you're going through, use this opportunity to make peace with the past. Okay, make peace with the past and acknowledge that life is continue, continually changing and evolving. Maybe certain people or certain relationships and certain connections you're meant to let go of. Okay, maybe because they're not going where you're going. And maybe, you know, things haven't worked out um, according to, you know, or things haven't necessarily unfolded in your timeline. Um, but that doesn't mean that they're not going to happen at all. Maybe your timeline is a little off, right? Um, or maybe this illusion of how you thought things should have been 
Okay, maybe it's just that. It's an illusion. It's a false illusion. Um, so it's like you need to, to me, the cards seem to uh, strongly um, indicate that you, there's a need for you to let go of the past so that you can firmly bring your attention, you can firmly root yourself here in the present because the present is where you're at and the present is what's ultimately requiring your, uh, uh, requiring and needing your attention. Look, for some of you, you have lost touch with your inner child, okay? Um, and life has become a little bit stressful, maybe even a little bit boring, mundane, maybe even very repetitive, okay? And you're not happy, okay? Whatever it is that you're doing, you're not happy. There's no emotional fulfillment. It's caused you to lose touch with that inner child or to lose, you know, touch with the connections that ultimately bring you happiness. So I think some of you are maybe closed off to opportunities from what I'm seeing, okay? Um... And here's the thing, you're closed off to opportunities in the present. And I think you're, you're just taking, I think you're doing too much adulting, if that makes sense. I think you really need to go back. And I think this is what's going to be your focus for the next 24 to 48 uh, hours. Um, it's, you know, going back to get, getting in touch with your inner child. Okay, because your inner child does seem like, in, you know... Open yourself up, you know, have that curiosity as a child, you know, that really curious mind as a child does so that you can um, have fun again, okay, so that the things that have gotten a bit boring or challenging or repetitive or things that, that have gotten a bit stale in your life, they can uh, once again become fun. So some of you, I feel like you've just been too busy focusing on work or what needs to be done that you forget to have fun. And I think this is what it's all about for you. It's time to have fun again. And in doing so, I see that there is some sort of decision, okay? Some decision that has been weighing heavily on your mind. Now, this decision feels like it's huge, okay? It feels like it's a, it has a decision. It has the power to shift um, and alter events in your life or perhaps even alter the rest of your life. This decision comes with a heavy weight because what it's going to do is it's going to push you outside of your comfort zone. And it's a decision that you've been thinking about for quite some time. You've been wanting to do this, but I think you've been scared. You've been scared um, because, you know, it, it requires you to step outside of your comfort zone or it might require a lot of uh financial resources to pull this off whatever it is it is something that you've been giving a lot of time and your energy but you keep shutting it off you click keep closing yourself off let me tell you that decision comes equipped with the opportunity to change your life and the opportunity for you to reconnect with that you know with your inner child and that decision ultimately will see that you, you know you will um, have fun again okay um and it's something that I feel like you're leaning towards. From what I'm seeing, you're leaning towards this decision more and more. And I think for some of you, the next 24 to 48 hours, there just may be a sign, um, a message, a sign or a synchronicity or even some sort of synchronistic event that will unfold around this choice or decision. So for some of you, it could be something as, you know, as big as or as little as applying for a new job. OK, um, perhaps it's a dream job. Or reconnecting with someone from the past. For some of you, the Six of Cups could be that indication, you know, that there is this, you might be taking a trip down memory lane, or maybe you have been taking several trips down memory lane, but you've been wanting to maybe reconnect with someone, um, maybe tell them that you still love them, or tell them that, you know, you still have some very strong lingering feelings for this person, and, um, Maybe this is, you know, you're going to make the decision to do just that. Reconnect with someone and open yourself up and tell them how you feel. Whatever it is, I feel like it's such an opportunistic um, event. And I think that, you know, um, somehow it has ties. I feel like somehow it has ties with your past. This, 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 this decision that I have for you, um, that I see for you in the cards. So, for instance, uh, it could have something to do with a person from the past, someone that you still, um, you know, you're still holding on to, someone that you still love, someone that you still have lingering feelings for. It could be an ex, um, you know, an ex-husband, wife, an ex-girlfriend, boyfriend. Um, 
it could be something that you really love doing as a child okay or it could have been you know your childhood dream that you always wanted to pursue somehow i feel like it's you ultimate you're, you're either going back to someone that you love or you're going to go back to something that you love okay and this is why i feel like it's so big because ultimately it is going to change the rest of your life so it's not to say that the next 24 to 48 hours will change the rest of your life, although you, it can happen if you allow for it to happen, but it's the steps that you're going to take towards implementing this decision that ultimately is going to, you know, have this domino effect on everything that follows after. So I think there's a lot going on in your energy and I think you're at a very significant point in your life, but you need to stop resisting because you are growing and evolving and this change the winds of change that are sort of sweeping in your direction allow for you know for them to to change you to help you grow to help you evolve all right guys and these are your messages thanks so much for um your time your energy your attention please show your support by liking sharing and subscribing to the channel and um i'll catch up with you guys later